Game show, Ronan O'Shea joined by the head coach of the Bulls, Lolo Prado. A win last night, 2-1 to one in 13 innings. You said after the game last night, the pitching won that one. A team-high 20 strikeouts in the victory. But in the end, it was the hit from James Ramsey, an infield walk-off single that uh, summed up the victory. Well, you don't see that very often in college baseball or pro baseball, but it was good enough to win, and right now we'll take any win. I know the hitting did struggle a little bit. You left 10 on last night. The team opted not to do batting practice today. Is that a coaching decision, or do the players come to you and say, oh, let's skip it today? No, I mean, we never leave it up to them. I mean, that's... Uh, uh, we just wanted to make sure it was a long night and, you know, uh, guys like Longley and stuff, we don't need them out here in the heat too early and uh, we just wanted to hit in the cage. I like hitting in the cage in any way because you work a lot of, uh, of fundamentals and things like that in the cages. So we do it every so often, a lot of times on Sundays, but we did it today just because it was a long night. A lot of times I've come to you and said, boy, Kevin Quackenbush was good last night, but last night he was filthy. Faced seven batters, struck out six. He did throw, I think, 25, 26 pitches. Does that make him not available tonight? No, he's in. I mean, if we need one inning, he's in. Uh, you know, we're trying to play for a conference championship, and any chance we get to win a game, he'll be in there. The only one that probably you won't see is Junior Carlene, uh, just because we want to be safe with his arm, but uh, he's in if we got a lead in the ninth. Last night you faced the tall right-hander Gebler. Tonight it is a lefty Rob Smurl. You saw him last year out of the bullpen. What do you remember about the southpaw? Uh, I mean, same thing we've seen all year with southpaws. I mean, they're, they're guys that get ahead and, you know, want to throw breaking balls and things like that to get you out in front. So, um, you know, we just got to get better at bats. I mean, especially with guys in scoring position. We've really had some bad at bats. And uh, we had the right guys there last night to win the game. But, you know, it doesn't happen all the time. You got to give them credit. They pitched well when they had to. But, you know, today's another day. And then lastly, Kyle Easttam looking for his fourth victory of the year. He was outstanding last week in Philadelphia. Seven innings, one run, and the 10-1 win in game two of the doubleheader. Uh, he's got his, you know, this club is a good club. And uh, another outing that he's going to show if he's, if he's made another step. So um, he's been solid for us all year, and hopefully he'll continue that tonight. All right, good luck tonight. Thank you.